Well, hello, 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 everybody. Today is Sunday, May 13th, and this is Angie the Coder coming to you on Mother's Day. I hope everybody out there is having a great Mother's Day if you're a mother, and if you have a mother, you know who you are. You need to go take good care of her, okay? So, this is Clog001. You heard me right. I did say clog and not vlog. Um, I wanted to call this vlog one. I was going to call my all my little videos that I'm going to be doing vlogs. And my teenage daughter came in and said, Mom, vlogs are not what you think they are, basically. She said, she said, vlogs are where you, you know, you talk into the camera every day and you walk around and you show everybody what you're doing and you take it traveling and, and go take people traveling and things like that. And I thought, I started thinking, yeah, she's right. And I decided to change it to a clog, coding log. So I know it's a little geeky, but that's kind of how I roll. And you'll learn that after you've been around long enough. Hopefully you'll like me enough to stay long enough to see how geeky I am. So what are we going to talk about on this beautiful Sunday? We're going to talk about the NCCI manual. And we are going to be talking about the NCCI manual in a lot of upcoming videos. So let's get started. So... Now, most of y'all probably know what the NCCI manual is, and you at least you know what NCCI is, but we're just going to start from, from scratch. We're going to start from basics, so anybody can jump in to this, this video series. NCCI stands for National Correct Coding Initiative, and it's a CMS thing, so it affects Medicare and Medicaid. So the way the National Correct Coding Initiative works is... For those of you who haven't had to deal with it yet, you have column A codes and column B codes, uh, no, column 1 codes and column 2 codes. And the column 2 code will be bundled against the column 1 code. And they will either allow you to add a modifier to bill it, or they won't allow you to add a modifier. It sounds pretty simple, right? Well, sometimes, you know, it, it seems like it'd be simple, but there are a lot of times when you're looking at the documentation, when these things come to me, I might be looking at this, this column one and column two pair and look at it and go, well, when can I add a modifier? When is it appropriate and when is it not appropriate? And that's what the manual does. The manual basically explains some of these scenarios and tells you, yes, in this scenario you can add a modifier or in this scenario it is not appropriate to add a modifier. So that's basically what NCCI in the manual the NCCI manual. So NCCI is a huge set of edits that Medicare and Medicaid use when they're adjudicating claims to determine if two CPT codes should be billed together. It also, we'll get into this later, but NCCI also affects how many of something you can bill. Like uh, they're called MUEs. And MUEs are like how many units you can bill of a specific CPT code. We're going to cover that in detail as well in the series. Not today though. So that's what NCCI is. The manual is this set of documents. They're in PDF format, and I'm going to show them to you in just a minute. But these documents that specifically say when you can add a modifier and when you can't. Now, it doesn't cover every single one of the edit pairs. That would be absolutely impossible because there are so many edit pairs. But it does cover a lot of the stuff you'll be asking, a lot of the questions you, you might be asking when you're looking at whether to add a modifier or not, a lot of that stuff is covered in the manuals. So without further ado, let's go to the next thing. Well, so you're like, okay, Angie, this is great. I didn't know there was manuals for NCCI. I'll be honest with you. I didn't know this, gosh, for a long time. I've been a coder since 1994. NCCI has been around a long time. And I knew about the edits. I dealt with the edits every single day of my life, but I didn't know there was a manual for the longest time. So if you didn't, if you didn't know that there were manuals for Medicare and Medicaid for the NCCI edits, then don't beat yourself up. A lot of people don't know about this, but I, I found them by accident one day when I was looking for something else. So where are they? The Medicare manual, just follow me along as we go out to the world of Medicare is at cms.gov. And this is what it looks like when you, this link will be in the description below. And what you'll do is you can copy and paste it or, and then I recommend bookmarking this in your browser. But when you get to this page, this is their, the Medicare um, National Correct Coding Initiative 
page. Um, I call it a landing page. And there's a lot of information on here and we're going to spend some time digging into this in a later video. But right now I'm going to show you where the manuals are. So if you scroll to the bottom and you see these these downloads are very helpful. <laughs> you see this down, download section. Go to the one that says NCCI Policy Manual for Medicare Services, and this one is effective January 1st, 2018, because we are currently working in 2018. Now they do have, back up here, they have the archives. If I can find them, there they are. The first link up here is the archive. So if you are, say you're somebody who's having to work 2017 denials or something, or 2016, and you need to see the manual for then, you can go backwards and see them. All right, so what you do is you click on this link here. Now I'm working on a Mac computer today. I think when you're on a Windows-based computer, it's gonna open up a separate window for you with these downloads. On a Mac computer, when I click on this, it's gonna go up to my downloads. And then, my, my microphone's in my way, I can't see. Then I'm gonna click this little arrow right here and I'll see my downloads. As you can see, I've been downloading them like crazy, but what you'll do is you'll open up your window, open up your downloads, your little file right there, and then these are all the chapters. There are, I think, I, I think there are 13 chapters, and then there is an introduction, a table of contents, and, um, and all that. This is laid out a lot like CPT. So you have chapters for different things, like you have a radiology chapter, you have a lab chapter, you have a medicine chapter, you have a dermatology chapter, and a general, general surgery chapter. So it's incredible, especially if you're in a specialty, you're gonna love this because you can kind of like get your specialty manual and dig into it and just kind of focus on it. I play in most of these manuals because of what I do. Um, so I end up in about all of them. In the general, this chapter one is a really good one that goes over the general guidelines of CCI. I recommend that everybody, regardless of your specialty, print this one up or save it on your desktop somewhere, or save it on your computer somewhere and read it really well. I have this one printed up and I'm highlighting it like crazy. I've got tabs all over it. I've got notes on it. Um, it's a very important manual. I think it's a chapter one manual. And then, hold on. The cool thing about all of these manuals, they're in PDF format. And if you're like me, you love PDF because PDF lets you search. So let's open one of these. We're going to open up, I think chapter eight is the radiology. They're not quite, see, nope, it's not. Chapter eight is um, CPT codes 60,000 through 699999. <laughs> so it's going to be your nervous system, your your surgery, endocrine, nervous, eye, etc. The thing I love the best is it has a search function. So if you come up here to the little search box and type in, um, let's type in modifier 59, it will give you all the places where modifier 59 is discussed. And over here, if there were a whole bunch, they would all bust out over here. I, I have these on my desktop, but I also, um, I also print them up every year. I print them up and I go through them like a geek with a highlighter and a tab and tabs. And I tab things that I'm going to see on a regular basis in my work. And um, I recommend you might want to do that too. Now, if you want to save some trees, that's not the way to do it because they're these manuals, some of them get pretty big and they blow through a lot of paper. So you may just want to save them on your desktop and um, just refer to them there. There. Now, Oh, but there's a Medicaid one too. Did you know that? Yeah, I mentioned that at the beginning. Did this is how you get to the Medicaid one? And there you go. You got your NCCI manual. Theirs is a little different. They actually have the manuals up front. This is the January 1st, 2018. And then you'll see some older stuff below. I'm looking to see if they have their oh, see there's their archives. So you can go back and see they started having a manual in 2010. You do the same thing with the Medicaid. You click on the link and what it's gonna do, if you're on a Mac, it's gonna send it to your downloads. If you're on a PC, it's probably gonna pop up in a separate window. So let's go find my downloads. And this is a Medicaid one, I hope. Yep, and the way I know this is the Medicaid one is it says MCD and it's set up very much the same. 
It's a bunch of chapters and the chapters look about the same. They're set up by CPT codes. So it's very, very similar. I'm gonna see what their chapter nine looks like. Oh, see there's their radiology one. <clears throat> And if you notice, the same with the Medicare, you'll see things that verbiage that has changed from last year's manual will be in red, which is really helpful. And that, for those of you that want to save some trees, that's a good way to save your tree. If you open it up and there's not a lot of red in it, then, then I wouldn't worry about printing it. Again, if you already have that manual from last year and you don't want to print it again, you can always make some notes of what changed if you want to. It's not like your CPT code book where you absolutely have to have a new a new version every year, but you might want to take note of what changed if you don't want to see. Here's some more red. There you go. So now you see what they look like. So these are the manuals for Medicare and Medicaid. The links will be, like I said, in the description below. So <laughs> That's the introduction to NCCI for today. We're not gonna like, blah, 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 blah. we're not gonna drag this on, uh, especially since um, I can't seem to talk straight today. I don't know why that is, but uh, I think my my uh, tongue is taking a vacation already. It's not time for vacation yet for me, but the tongue is already left for vacation. But what we're gonna do in future videos. Uh, we're going to dig deeper into these manuals, and I'm going to give you some real-life examples that I see. Um, of course, I can't give you real-life patient records, but we're going to go over some things that I would, some scenarios that I would see in my work that you may also see in yours. And uh, we're going to talk about how to apply these manuals to those scenarios. So you guys have a great Mother's Day, and we will see you back here the next video. I'm going to try to get them out about one a week. Um, if we can get to where we can get more than one a week out, that'd be great. But right now I'm going to try to aim to have one out every Sunday. You guys take care. See you soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, could you give it a thumbs up? I really would appreciate that. It really helps a lot. And if you really, really liked it, could you please think about subscribing to the channel? Because, you know, if I don't have subscribers, I'm just sort of sitting here talking to myself. And we don't want that now, do we?